Welcome, this is the Energy Vibration Reading for um, the, um, the fourth week. The energy Vibration for the fourth week, fourth week of August. I want to say to each other person, thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Um, this is the fourth week, and the fourth week begins from the 20th until the 26th, okay? It is a week where um, the energies change, so we need to take that in consideration. The energies change in this week. So um, what we're looking at in this week is that the Leo ended, ended on the 22nd, okay? So for the, the Leos, you end on the 22nd. So um, that would be on Wednesday, okay? On Wednesday. So for you Leos, from uh, Monday to um, to Wednesday, the 22nd, you end. And then we have the Virgos coming in. Um, the Virgos begin from the 23rd. That is on um, Thursday and um, throughout the rest, okay? So, um, it is the fourth week. It is the ending of the Leo. So, we have um, the um, element of uh, for this week is in a water week. So, you guys start the year 2019 with water, okay? It is the energy of um, the hermit, okay? So, this year you have and work with the energy of the hermit, okay? So, let's look and see what is going to be happening for you guys. It's really a spiritual year. The energy of the hermit has to do with spirituality, okay? So, let's see um, what is going to be happening for you guys. Some of you, um, and this is good, um, whatever that is happening. Oh, a lot of you are going to be dealing with the water sun people. Um, new love is coming in for um, some of you. Um, you're going to be protected um, for some of you. You're going to be resting. Strength and rest is good. I hope you guys can see this. Okay. So, it's all about making decisions in this year. Um, whenever you're connecting in a, a, a year, so it says this, it's all about making um decision in this year whatever the situation is whatever that is transpiring it's all about making um decision in this year okay so um here we go um new love is coming in for the people who are working on the energy vibration of love so um there is a lot of situation a lot of emotion this year is going to be very emotion it's the year of the hermit for you guys so if you're born um, from the 20th of August until the 26th is the year of the hermit for you guys and what is transpiring and what is happening is that there is a situation that is um, coming up. It's very, going to be very, 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 very emotion. Okay, very, very emotional. Whatever the situation is, it's going to be extremely emotional um, for a lot of you guys. Okay, so let's see what else is happening. Queen of Cups is being blocked, which is good. Um, a lot of you, um, especially in work, is going to be um, really, really, really good. New love, someone is trying um, to take something from you within love. So um, the star comes out So for the strength, so that is good. It's the end of a situation um, with um, people. New start is coming up for a lot of you guys, a lot of new starts. So um, this is about, this year is about making decision and having a new start in your life, okay? So um, let's move forward and um, get in this reading so we can go. We're beginning with the people who were born on the 20th of August. So for the year 2000, you Leo's, for the year um, 2019, you are going to be working with the energy of the hangman. You're going to be finding yourself. You're going to be connecting with yourself, finding yourself, um, knowing who you are and trying to connect with that. This is good because the people who are, um, have family members or a partner that is um, um, a Pisces Cancer or a Scorpion, it could be your mom, um you could be hearing that your mom is sick in this year okay 
um, there is blockages and this 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 block um, is going to be clearing up. It could be a relationship situation um, that um, you have been in um, waiting for um, a relief from a situation and you're going to be seeing this block actually happening and releasing once and for all okay so it's as if you um believe in the year 2018 um it could be your your um, wife your grandmother your mom uh, your partner whether it's a man or a woman but it's the pisces cancer or a scorpion where there was some blockages this person could be blocking you also and um you are seeing a situation playing out in this year and this you know you are going to make a decision about what are you going to do with this person whoever this person is for the rest it is a year of finding inner strength um to deal with um um emotions it's a very emotional year and it's about finding in inner strength to deal with emotions because it is water 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 there is a lot of emotion um, for the people who were born on the 20th. As we move forward, um, your number is going to be 6, 1, and 12. 6, 1, and 12. As we move forward to the people who were born on the 21st, this is going to be a very, very, extremely good year. Um, personally, for you guys, it's going to be a wonderful year. Um, you have the energy of the Emperor, so you, if this year for you guys is about building a strong foundations in your life. And um, not only building strong foundation, but achieving a lot of goals. Um, you're going to be achieving um, a lot of people um, are going to be congratulating you on how far you have come in your journey and that sort of a thing. Um, it is um, for a lot of you a lot of success is going to be coming in success in work but success in your personal lives and your personal affairs and this is going to be extremely good whatever the situation that is playing out whatever that is happening it's going to be in a very very positive way um, because you have the energy of the ace of swords so um, whatever um, injustice so um, with your work situation it is now uh, finally finally going to come to rest and uh, um, some of you could be meeting someone this could this is a year where you're going to be connecting with your twin flame and your soulmate okay some of you um, this year is going to be connected with your twin flame and your soulmate it's going to be a wonderful year because whatever the situation is especially with the lovers is going to be very positive because the ace of swords is talking about new love coming in if you were having um, consistent problems with your supervisor, boss, or um, just having um, stability in your life, uh, um, this is going to be over. You are going to be finding the stability in your life, and it's going to be in a very, very positive way. Okay, so this is good. I'm basically loving this. Um, as some of you who are looking for twin flame and soulmate, it's going to be happening for you guys. It's going to be um, very, very positive and very wonderful. There is a new start in work for a lot of you, a new start in love for a lot of you. Okay, new start in work and new start in love for a lot of you guys. Okay, um, your numbers is going to be 1, uh, 4, and 24. 1, 4, and 24. As we move forward to look at the people who were born on the 22nd, um, we have the energy of an um, organization. This is a situation where some of you are dealing with um, someone in an organization, whoever this person is. It can be um, a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpion. Now, whoever this person is, you're going to find out some information about this person, okay? It could be um, you trying to find out some information or information is going to be coming to you about this person oh my god i didn't have i had the wrong headsets in oh my god i had the wrong headsets in so um whatever the situation is and whatever that is transpiring you're going to be finding out something um about this woman whoever this woman is see she is um, a Pisces cancer or a scorpion it could be that this is your partner that you're going to be finding out some information about and uh, whatever the information that you're going to find out about this person 
um, secrets are going to be coming out about this person okay um, uh, as I said it could be um, your partner but it also um, could be someone you're working with and um, whatever secret she has you are going to be finding out the secret whatever secrets that she had you're going to be finding out these secrets but whatever is transpiring you or um, winning a game over her okay because whoever this person in this organization is she has been keeping a lot of secrets and she has been um, you know it is going to be coming up for a lot of you in different way so it could be your partner it could be your sister it could be um, a divorce that you're doing and you're going to be finding out secrets it could be a girlfriend uh, wh whatever and whoever this person is you could be finding out a lot of information that is going to be coming out about this person in an organization and as you do that um, you know this is information this is something that you're going to find out about this woman whoever this woman is she's not working in a positive energy vibration so as you can see most of the hair is very very emotional and some of you if um, you have a book to publish is going to be a very good year to publish this book because whatever needs to come out it's going to be um, positive as we move on to the last day for the Virgos um, the, um, the 23rd of August is the last day now the 22nd was the last so happy birthday to you Virgos Um this is the energy of the 23rd happy birthday to you Virgos this is wonderful you're bringing in positive energies it's a year of the lovers it's a year of the lovers for you guys it's all about love in this year whether love in friendship relationships or whatever it's all about love for you in this year I need you to be careful because some of you could be realizing that a new love that something um, that this uh, someone came in as a new love but it's not really um, this person is just coming to profit from you or to take your energy you could find out that um, a love that has came in for you um, that someone is trying to take this love away from you there is just some um, very on the savory thing that is happening for you guys so you have to be very careful in this year with love relationship and new loves that is coming in your life for the rest it's going to be a very very beautiful year um, please be careful about the people who you accept in your life because some of these people um, are not as um, honest as um, you thought they were okay so be aware of this be aware of whatever new love that come in this year you Virgos because they're not as positive as they're saying okay I'm going back to the people who were born on the 22nd I'm going to give you a number your number is going to be 526 and 1 526 and 1 there's a lot of new start um, for you um, Leo's that are ending this zodiac year of 2018 and beginning the year to 2017 and beginning the year 2018 there's a lot of changes and new changes that are coming in be aware of this energy that is happening for you Virgos um you know it's as if new love is coming in some of you um, be aware of your girlfriends and that sort of a thing because um, they will um, come in between you and your new um, relationships and this is for the Virgos it doesn't really matter if you're a male or a female but there's a new love is about to come in for you Virgos but um, there is an energy of deception here so be aware of that as we move on and we look at the people who were born on the 24th it's going to be a wonderful 2018 for you guys um, as you can see this you have the energy of the chariot you, you're going to be vic victorious successful um, there is new start that is coming in whatever this new start that is coming in you're spiritually protected and guided so this is um, wonderful um, so congratulations to you Virgos who have gone through um, horrible things because here you're seeing a new stability coming in and there is news coming in for you guys and it's going to be good some of you could be hearing that a blockage that was in your life is now lifted some of you could be connecting with your twin flame or your soulmate but whatever the situation is it could be good news about um, you finishing um, a study with honors and that sort of a thing which is here you're overcoming obstacles and you're being spiritually protected so not to worry about anything that is going to come at you in this year you're going to be overcoming it very very quickly 
so your numbers is going to be one seven and nine one seven and nine and you Virgos need to understand the Virgos who were born on the 24th of August you need to understand that there is going to be so much so much wonderful energy is coming in that you are going to be surprised of all the things that is going to be happening good things are coming for you Virgos who were born on the 24th um, in 2018 as we move forward and we are looking um, remember your numbers are one seven and nine one seven and nine use these numbers whether in the lottery or whether to make appointment and that sort of a thing as we move on we're looking at the energies for the people who were born on the 25th of August congratulations you have the infinity sign the infinity sign come with the energy of finding inner strength and some of you are coming out from a situation and in the year 2018 you have to find inner strength but this inner strength is good because as you can see um, the number 8 is actually here twice because 16 2 times 8 is 16 so you have 3 times 8 so it's going to be a year of financial um, satisfaction and financial abundance that is coming into you and this is going to be positive um, you have a strong foundation you need to rest in this year some of you are going to be overworking yourself to achieve and accomplish a lot of achievement especially in business and um, um, business situation is going to be happening for you there is going to be a lot of achievement so for the people who are born on the 25th of August there is going to be so much achievement coming in for you guys and it's going to be wonderful your number is going to be 8 16 and 4 8 um, 16 and 4 and as we come to the last energy for um, you Virgos that was born on the 26th we have the energy of the hermit now the energy of the hermit is when your spirit guides are going to be connecting with you so most of this year it's going to be a spiritual year it's going to be a year of you um, understanding spirituality but not only that is that your spirit guides are going to be coming in angels and guides they're going to be opening up your awareness they're going to be bringing um, using um, um, finding you're going to be going in words for inner guidance especially when it when it comes on to family situation um, you're going to be going in to find um, inner guidance to deal with a family situation this family situation is a is a um, 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 a karmic a karmic situation that you have to deal with so um, it's going to be good for some people for some people um, you're going to be um, need to find inner guidance and strength to deal with it but uh, at the end of the day whatever this injustices and whatever this uh, unfavorable um, situation the family situation is going to be ending and it's going to be um, there is going to be a positive end and a new start for you so there's decision that needs to be happening in this year you guys have to be open up um, to understand that um, there are decision that needs to be happening in this year and um, um, no one else can make those decisions except uh, from yourself and as um, you understand um, the journey you are on and the decisions that you need to make then you will be um, coming out on a positive side okay I am using the mood uh, the Mu Ras, the Mu Ras card, and um, you guys have the fifth chakra. This is how um, this is how it looks. The um, the throat chakra. So um, they're basically and um, this came out for the Leos. Um, the throat chakras. Um, so um, the throat chakra, the fifth throat chakra, and um, it is saying um, purification. Um, um, the throat center um, sound is um and um, the color is blue and the symbol is the 16 pal sky blue lotus flowers rules the throat the neck the ebo and um, it's the space communication um, expression um, discernment and purification so I'm loving this for you um, Leo's okay so you Leo's have the fifth chakra which is uh, the throat chakra as we go forward for the Virgos you have the Rami Padi and um, this is how you hold your finger and this is centering you'll be centering yourself in the year 2018 
you'll be centering yourself okay because you're coming out of 2017 into 2018 so as you look at the cards you're going to be embodying and centering um, the glow of yourself okay this is very beneficial especially when you have stress and blood pressure um, it strengthened the digestive system and it um, progressive so um, it relaxes you relaxes your shoulder your length and your spine present to the body I am perfectly centered okay I am perfectly centered so this is wonderful so for you Virgos um, you have a, this is the way um, you hold your hands and you can just sit with your leg cross and you can hold your hand and it basically centered you so um, that's what you guys are going to have um, and the Leos have the energy of the fifth chakra the fifth chakra which is uh, the throat chakra okay so um, I want to say to each and every person um, I am hoping and wishing a wonderful wonderful um, year for you guys this is the new year for you guys um, and um, it's going to be a very successful year um, however you look at it especially for a lot of you so um, for the people who were born the 26 you have the energy of the 9 the 10 and 36 36 is seen as um, 9 okay so you have to twice 9 and a new start so um, obviously um, this is a very spiritual for the people who are born on the 26 because you have twice 999 is the end of a cycle and a new beginning is about to happen for you guys in the year 2018 I want to say namaste and I'm wishing you guys a wonderful new year um, I will speak to you next week